Okay, so today I'm going to talk about Lost Voices by Sarah Porter. This is a young adult, um, I guess it's a fantasy book. It includes mermaids, so. Okay, so Lost Voices. It's got a green inside, kind of a pearly cover there. We've got a small title page, large title page, dedication, quo, and into the book. The back uh, says, The redhead's voice had a very hard, bitter music in it, like cracked diamonds. We won't hurt you, no matter how offensive I find your behavior, but you've already given us re enough reason to expel you, if it comes to that. So, do you want to leave? Leave for where, Luce thought. She shook her head in sudden anxiety. In that case, we need to get this we need to get this much straight. All the mermaids in the territory obey my rules, no matter who they think they are. Do you understand me? All the mermaids, Luce repeated. She felt completely baffled. Pale faces stared back at her, and Luce realized there they were all just as mystified as she was. No wonder they were so confused. Their leader was an obvious lunatic. Luce rolled onto her back and strained to lift her legs out of the water. They felt bizarrely heavily all of a sudden, and also much too long. With an effort, she managed to heave them out of the sea. A, silvy, a silvery green tail, halfway between a fish's tail and a serpent's, waved uncertainly in the darkness of the cave. It weighed so much that Luce could barely hold it up, and the cold air made it burn. Luce shrieked and let the tail, tail drop. The salt water spattered across their faces. The red-haired girl was staring open-mouthed at Luce, and then the laughter came back all around them. Almost all of the girls were laughing now, but it didn't sound mean. It sounded like the way people laugh when they suddenly understand something that should have been obvious all along. Okay, so Lost Voices is uh, the first book in a trilogy. It is 291 pages. Um, pretty normal font. Um, the inside flap here says, um, What happens to the girls nobody hears when they cry for help? Luce is one of those lost girls. After her father vanishes in a storm at sea, she is stuck in a grim, gray Alaskan fishing village with her alcoholic uncle. When her uncle crosses an unspeakable line, Luce reaches the depths of despair. Abandoned on the cliffs near her home, she expects to die when she tumbles into the icy, churning waves below. Instead, she undergoes an astonishing transformation and becomes a mermaid. A tribe of mermaids finds Luce and welcomes her in. All of them, like her, lost girls who surrendered their humanity in the darkest moments of their lives. The mermaids are beautiful, free, and ageless, and Luce is th thrilled with her new life until she discovers the catch. They feel an uncontrollable desire to drown seafarers, using their enhanced voices to lure ships into the rocks. Luce's own remarkable singing talent captures the attention of the tribe's queen, the fierce and elegant Katerina, and Luce soon finds herself pressured to join in committing mass murder. Luce's struggle to retain her inner humanity puts her at odds with her friends. Even worse, Katerina seems to regard Luce as a potential rival, but the appearance of a devious new uh, mermaid brings a real threat to Katerina's leadership and endangers the very existence of the tribe, can Luce find the courage to challenge the newcomer, even at the risk of becoming rejected and alone once again? Lost Voices is a captivating and wildly original tale about finding a voice, the healing power of a friendship, and the strength it takes to forgive. So this is my first mermaid tale. Um, there are actually quite a few out in the YA world today. Um, forgive my fins and I want to say Tempest Rising. Um, Somebody deeps. Oh, okay, that's not good. I should have my notes ready. Anyway, let's move on with Lost Voices by Sarah Porter. Um, so I read an interview over on um, Book Chic uh, that the author said she, of course, had the story in one of her dreams. She kept having a recurring um, dream about mermaids and um, decided to write a story about that. So um, we have the story of Luce, um, who no longer has parents. She's left with her alcoholic uh, uncle, who one day attempts to rape her, and she is told not to come home. So 
feeling despair, she drops into the sea and turns into a mermaid. And out of frustration and um, anger, uh, she begins to scream. But of course, um, it comes out as a song. She crashes a boat and um, all the, the people die. So the other mermaids are attracted to the crash and come to check it out. And there is Luce. So they um, tell her the laws that she must obey and says that, of course, she's already broken one, but we're going to allow you in for now. And um, she begins her adventure with the tribe of girls. And overall, the girl, I mean, Katarina's a little fearful about losing her place as queen because Luce obviously has a talent. Um, mermaids aren't supposed to be able to sink ships, ships all by themselves. So her voice is... Um, very talented. She, uh, so Katarina kind of feels this, um, wariness towards her and loose overall. She has no friends. She's not really an outgoing person, um, introvert, but she learns to love all these girls and wants to help them and be a part of them. And, um, you know, eventually her and Katarina develop a friendship as well. But, um, soon other mermaids, other girls start joining the tribe. Um, at one point, several girls, I think 14, um, all come in and they kind of change the course of the way that the tribe is going. They become selfish. They um, um, break many of the laws that um, are in the code. And pretty soon they put Luce and Katarina to a head and, um, you know, they want a new leader and whatnot. So, um, I mean, it's like the same kind of story you might get in all-girls school. Um, you have a leader, you have drama, you have rules. Um, you know, I've read several other young adult stories that, you know, this thing, um, besides the mass murder, uh, you know, the basic concept of this book could have taken place anywhere. But the fact that this one does take place under... Um, under the sea in the ocean um, off of Alaska there. It's very intriguing. Um, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the descriptions that are used, the um, way they use their voices um, to sink the ships, and the reason why they sink the ships is very saddening, of course, but I definitely think it's a worthwhile read. It was very interesting and unique. Um, in the way that, you know, it's um, put underwater and how they have to breathe and feed and, um, you know, just how they have their whole group tribe set up under there. So, um, there was a disturbing part and, um, you know, overall Luce, um, she, she learns to develop to stand up for herself <laughs> Um, but I'll be more interested to see what happens um, as far as her gaining strength in herself in book two. So, there's Lost Voices by Sarah Porter. I also gave this one four stars, so I totally recommend that you check it out if you're interested. I'm going to have to definitely pick up some more um, mermaid books myself and see um, how they compare. Because so far, um, so far so good. So, thanks for watching and I will talk to you later.